Okay, look at the description box. Robert Norris says twice how the British have a decisive advantage over any other nation when it comes to the slave trade. And this is very important. He says that the increase of it to its present state may be attributed to the enterprising spirit of the merchants, to the superior address of those employed in the executive part of it, the opulence of the manufacturers, which same will enable them to extend a credit to the former beyond what can be had in any other nation, beyond what can be had by any other country. And he also says that the British planters are supplied with Negroes on more reasonable terms than their neighbors, and this is also very important. And it's important to know that the British were not only the biggest players in the, of the European slave trading nations, they were also a foundation that the European slave trade rested on. The French bought slaves from the British because the French were not able to get all that they wanted from Africa. The British were so had so much of an advantage in the slave trade that they could get a huge surplus and sell it to other nations. And these other nations took as much as they could from Africa and it still wasn't enough to satisfy them. 